In the evening, three friends, Jun Soon, Chun Seung, and Gi Seok, eat ramen at a ramen shop, where they scan ladies as they pass. Jun Soo soon sees a lady that fits into the category he wants, and then walks up to her. As he meets up with her, he asks the lady to help feed his baby Wu Ram, but the woman insults him. He soon gets frustrated and shouts at Wu Ram for not drinking formula, and the baby starts crying. Now seven days earlier, Gi Seok and Chun Seung fought with some other boys, but Jun Soo saved the day as they beat and scared them off. After the fight, Jun Soo reprimands his friend for fighting the other boys, in which they inform him that the other party was the one who started it. In the night, in the taekwondo room, his father asks him if he is in a gang or if he wants to become a fighter. He answers him no that he wants to be a father. On hearing this, the father punishes him while punishing him. Jun Soo's mom saves him from his father's grip, but tells him to stop being a nuisance, and if he keeps it up, then he should marry and give birth to be a son, since Jun Soo doesn't know the pain he causes. The following day on getting to school, Jun Soo meets a weird girl, Byul Kim, in front of the school gate. He asks if she has a death wish since she keeps staring at him and won't leave his front. The stunned girl soon gets jilted back to reality and asks for his phone number while she takes his picture. After this, he calls her crazy and jumps over the fence into the school. Immediately in the gym hall, the homeroom Teek punishes Nish and beats him, including his friend Chun Seung, for fighting outside the school and behaving like they were in a gang. Chun Seung soon gives an account of what happened but the teachers tell him it is their fault too, since it takes two to tango. She tells them, the school committee will decide whether to expel or suspend them the following day, so they better be prepared. Afterwards, she also told them to tell Ji Seok to be in school the following day and they should be present with their parent. Meanwhile, Byul Kim, on getting back home, informs her parents of her decision to go back to school and hurries away. Later that day, the homeroom teacher introduced her to the class where Jung Soo was. The teacher tells her to pick a seat after her introduction, and Beol chooses Jun Soo's side. On seeing this, the class teacher tells her to look for another seat since she chooses the worst seat, but she declines. She then tells him to take care of her, and she leaves. Now alone, Beol Kim introduces herself again as she tells him they have met before, but Jun Soo instructs her to take her things and change to another seat. She ignores him and tells him to clean his nose instead, which he finds gross and pretends to know about it before. After this, he leaves the classroom to the terrace with his friend Chung Soon and asks if he has been able to reach Gi Seok since the vice principal means his word and they might expel him. Chung Seung soon asks for a cigarette from Jun Soo, but Byul Kim comes in and stops them from smoking while she lists the dangers involved. An irritated Jun immediately shouts to leave them but she knocks Chun Seung for talking to her and leaves. At night, they meet up with Ji Seok and inform him about the news of the expulsion, and they beg him to show up in school. He then tells them he won't be able to show up since he has to work more part-time jobs now that his high school diploma will soon be canceled. Jun Su, back home, finds the house empty and begins to call for his parents, but no response. He soon sees an envelope and a tape recorder in which he plays it. His parents then inform him that they will be leaving because both of them are tired of the school calling for their attention, and they will only be back until he gets his affairs into order. Immediately, he goes to the supermarket and informs his friends of his parent decision to leave the house for him, and he finally gets to have his peace. Jun Su then tells Chun Seung to tell Gi Seok there will be a party at his place. While shopping for the party at his now empty home, he discovers a baby sitting in his shopping cart, with the name tag Han Wuram, which points to Jun Su as his father. As he reluctantly brings the baby home, Jun Su tries to search for the baby's mother. On getting home, he and his friends check out his baby picture, and his friend concludes he is the father since the resemblance matches. Beol Kim soon appears before him and he asks her who invited her to his place. On seeing the baby Wuram, she tells God she is ready to put up with the challenges if God is testing her patience for liking Jun Su after which she collects the baby and consoles him after Jun Su shouts at her, which results in the baby crying. Soon Jun Su friends ask him about the mother of the child. In the process, Byol Kim informs him of the baby, advises devise him to think about how he is going to take care of the child, which to his disbelief, he still can't believe he is the owner of the child. Now at her parents' house, Byol Kim asks her mother about having a son-in-law 
who has a child. The mother gives no meaning to her words and discards her since she is not planning to help her with the chores. The following day, Junsu set out to look for Wu Ram's mother with the baby. He visits all his ex-girlfriends, but instead of getting answers, he only gets a slap in the face. After all his effort to find Wu Ram mother, Junsu returns home with him and soon gets frustrated by his cries. Not sure what to do to soothe Wu Ram, he calls Biol Kim on the phone. On her arrival, Biol tends to the baby and tries to give him tips on how to take care of a baby, but he's fast asleep, which leaves Biol Kim to care for Wu Ram alone. Meanwhile, Jun Su parents at the sauna worry about him. His mother soon starts blaming herself for leaving home and worries about her son, but her husband, unbothered, informs her that he will be fine. Tired of taking care of Wu Ram, he tries to get rid of Wu Ram in various ways but is exposed by the surveillance cameras every time. While trying to get rid of the baby, he meets one father who convinces him and suggests dropping his child at the orphanage will be better off, while another father berates them for trying to abandon their kids. The man then gives them a daycare card and instructs them to visit the center anytime. On getting home, Junsu receives a call from his teacher, who makes it mandatory for him to attend school the following day. In desperation, Junsu brings Wu Ram to school, and the whole school is in uproar. After school hours, he visits Giseok and decides to sell his bike, so he has to help him pay his mother's hospital fees. Now bikeless, he decides to take the train in the subway, in which he forgets to pick up Wu Ram before alighting from the train. He soon realizes this but changes his mind to get him back as it is an excellent opportunity for him to get rid of Wu Ram. On getting home, he sees Wu Ram things and changes his mind. After that, he goes to the station to report the baby situation, and after much clearance that he didn't abandon the baby, the officer gives him the Wu Ram back. At home, Biol Kim helps him take care of the baby, but tells him the baby needs breast milk since he has refused to collect baby formula. The following day, he then went in search of mothers that render breastfeeding, after which he gets the baby to breastfeed and takes him home. The next day, he visits the daycare recommended to him by the fathers he encountered, and they welcome him in. He also attends another baby class section with Biol Kim, in which Wu Ram soon starts crying and she gives him to Jun Su. Afterwards, they get ready to go home, and they bid each other farewell, as Junsu has to work. At his part-time work, he receives tips from the customers because of the baby Wu Ram and thanks the man. Later on, he finds his baby left alone in the room in which the ladies he left him with also went to work. The following day, he is suspended from school because a baby is not allowed in school, and it is a source of disturbance after a classmate whose mother is influential reports him to the school board. A heartbroken Jun Su then drinks into a stupor and finds Byul Kim in front of his gate. Unable to face her in his condition, he turns back only to find Byul Kim's father, who thanks him for making Byul Kim go back to school, taking care of her. He tells him he didn't do anything but gives her a hard time instead. The unconvinced father then informs him of Biel Kim's loss of interest in school after people refuse to accept her brilliant and tag her as being weird and witch. After meeting him because of his handsomeness, she chooses to go back to school. He returns home to meet a handwritten letter from Biel Kim, cheering him up with his bag. Eventually, he loses his part-time job and gets arrested by an officer, in which his homeroom teacher gets him bailed out. After days of becoming financially broke and sinking to the bottom, his parents return home when Junsu has an emotional breakdown and expresses his sympathy and love for the baby, a love that changes him from a troublemaker to a caring father. Junsu's parents acknowledge their love for their son and tell Junsu they will help care for Wu Ram. After this, his father fights the school on the unjust suspension of his son and promises to report them to the school board. Not long after, they are informed of Wu Ram's admission to the hospital in which Jun Su accuses his mother of endangering his child. Jun Su soon shouts at his mother, but his father slaps him immediately for being rude to his mother. Later on, he apologizes to his parents and they console him. During Wu Ram's admission to the hospital, Jun Su becomes depressed and meets Gi Seok. Gi Seok tells Jun Su that he is the father of Wu Ram. On hearing this furious, Junsu beats up Giseok and tells him to take Wu Ram back. He later lies to Byol and Chun Seung that he no longer cares about Wu Ram. Wu Ram, now out of the hospital, is being adopted by a couple from overseas. After contemplating whether to keep him, 
Junsu races to the airport and fights his way through security. At the gate, he yells for the couple to give Wuram back to him. Later, Junsun agrees with Gi Seok that they will raise Wuram together. After this, Byol sends Ki Seok and Chun Sung to buy soda, wanting to be alone with Junsu. After she compliments his cool behavior at the airport, Byol gives Junsu a quick kiss before running off and says to herself that she doesn't have to worry about bringing a son in law who is a father to her parent anymore. The movie ends.